In this example, we're going to construct something called a stem and leaf diagram. So usually in these examples, they give you some numbers and they tell you to construct the diagram. So you got to think of the numbers as two parts. There's a stem part and there's a leaf part. The stem part is, in this case, we only have two digit numbers. The stem part is the first number in the, the first digit in the number and the leaf is the second digit in the number. So first we're going to list all the stems that we have. So if you look, we have numbers in the teens, the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s. So we have 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. Then you draw a line like that, okay? Um, now we have to look at, okay, let's look at the 10s. How many do we have, numbers do we have which start with a 1? We have 15, 16, 18, 15. We have four of them. So what you want to do is write down each leaf. So we have two 15s, so you're going to write down the two fives, the two leaves. We have a 16, and then we have an 18. So what you want to do when you write these down is put the numbers going from smallest to biggest, to organize them that way. Okay, now let's do the 20s. I think we only have one 20, and it's a 21. Okay, now we got to do the 30s. We have a 32. And we have a 35, so you want to put a 2 and a 5. And then finally, we do the 40s, and I believe we have a 41 and a 46. So you put the 1 and the 6. So we have 9 numbers, so we just want to make sure we got them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we, I, I didn't mess up and miss any. Um, so now you can reconstruct the data. If you didn't have that data, you just said the diagram, you could reconstruct the data. There's a 15, there's a 15, there's a 16, there's an 18, there's a 21. You could just go through it. You can tell what's the smallest number. The smallest number is a 15. What's the biggest number? Oh, the biggest number is down here and it's a 46. You could take this and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and you have like a nice bar graph too of the frequency distribution. So stem, stem and leaf diagrams are pretty cool. Hope that helps.